What are the causes of twitching and seizures in a dog who has puppies or who has just given birth? Stay tuned. And my next question is from Pug B, who um, writes that they have a Labrador that's five years old, gave birth to four healthy puppies nine days ago, um, but today saw um, her starting to wob become wobbly, um, kind of lying and shaking, and it looked like a, a convulsion or a short seizure. Um, they talked to their vet, um, who said to report and count the frequency of the seizures for three weeks, but do I have any advice um, to help with that or any ideas what could be the cause? Well, I'll start off by saying kind of causes of seizures in general, we've got poisoning, we've got organ disease or blood abnormalities, we've got infections and we've got brain lesions and we've got epilepsy. Now kind of being in either late pregnancy or during early lactation my concerns would be that a dog has a really high calcium drain so you've got the puppies skeletons are maturing kind of in late pregnancy and then the milk um, production is coming in now depending on uh, kind of whether your dog is an older dog and had puppies before sometimes that milk can come in kind of quite early a long time before they're going to give birth um, but then also once they've given birth they've obviously got all these hungry mouths to feed so they're producing an awful lot of milk and all this can lead to low blood calcium levels which can cause something called eclampsia or milk fever or purpural tetany is um, kind of all other names for for the same condition these low calcium levels can cause a range of symptoms and that can include muscle tremors, it can include stiffness and it can also include full blown seizures which ultimately if left untreated is going to be fatal so you know it's potentially a really serious thing. Other symptoms of low calcium levels can include restlessness, uh, maybe disorientation, dog might be panting and they can even develop um, facial itching so they'll kind of be rubbing their face or kind of scratching their face. So yeah that would be my concern with this dog that it's actually got low calcium levels that is something that we really need to think about um, getting on top of you know straight away so that shouldn't be you know we shouldn't be leaving this for any length of time. Now there are other reasons that this condition can develop um, in pregnant dogs or in dogs that have had litters and that could be if they have been receiving calcium supplementation during pregnancy because um, this affects how well the body is able to mobilize the calcium once the milk production starts. It could also be due to feeding an inappropriate diet, being in a poor body condition, um, the mother being in a poor body condition or having a big litter or big pup so again lots of hungry mouths to feed and also first um, litter dogs and small breed toy dogs are more at risk from developing this condition although it can affect um, any breed of dog um, you know and regardless of how many litters they've had before. It's most commonly seen in the first 40 days after giving birth it's rarely before birth but it absolutely can be and treatment needs to be um, intravenous calcium to really raise that calcium blood calcium levels back up to normal as quickly as we can um, because like I say this can be fatal we can get seizures and, and we can get fatalities we also then need to take the pups off the mother um, and bottle feed them certainly for 24 hours preferably for longer and preferably um, if possible for for good so that the mother no longer has that big calcium drain now if you're going to put the puppies back on the mother once she's stabilized there is going to be a risk of repeat um, low calcium levels forming um, so repeat milk fever um, from developing or a repeat eclampsia and so calcium supplementation is going to be a good idea and just keeping a regular check of those calcium levels um, kind of while your um, while, while the female dog is nursing the puppies and you know the best the bottom line is is that a female dog who is about to or has given birth within the last 40 days or so that starts twitching becomes stiff or has a seizure really in my opinion that should be seen by the vet as a matter of an emergency and their blood calcium levels checked you've been watching the dr alex answers video podcast remember to subscribe and head over to dralexanswers.com for any links downloads and get your question answered